You guys miss me this much? Welcome back. And um, please note that um, for those who were watching my um, playthrough of Spider-Man Web of Shadows, um, remember that mission that I was uh, doing when I was when I was playing Spider-Man fighting Electro in Web of Shadows? That pretty much was considered my final walkthrough because of I had other stuff to do um, on YouTube and other stuff and, and, out, and stuff outside from it. And if you didn't get the memo, my walkthrough of Spider-Man Web of Shadows is cancelled. I'm sorry. It's just I had too many videos to edit on, my, on the computer and upload them every day be, but because well I had too much I had too much videos to edit so I didn't have enough time to upload the last remains of the web of shadows walkthrough but instead I welcome you to my walkthrough of the amazing Spider-Man for the PlayStation 3 As soon as when the game is updating, then we're getting on to the game itself. The, up the updating won't take that long because there's only 5 megabytes for the hard drive space on this console. Actually, 19 megabytes actually for downloading update data. I've been waiting to get this game for a long time. I know the game came out last year, well, weeks before the movie came out. But I finally got the video game and uh, can't wait to see what this I can't wait to see what this Spider-Man game is like. I mean, I've already seen several people play this game already. And every time I see the um, gameplay footage of people free roaming around as Spider-Man, you know, either the current version of them or as different costumes that you can unlock uh, unlock it gets me psyched stuff to want to play this and I finally have the game under my hands under the palm of my hands and of course the PS3 version is uh, capable of PlayStation Move but unfortunately I'm using the DualShock 3 controller for the game so there's no need for the uh, PlayStation Move I don't really need it that much unless if I want to and I'm going to need to get the camera for it, but unfortunately, I don't have the money to get the PlayStation Move or the camera required for this. So I'm just going to do this old-fashioned way with the DualShock 3 controller. New sound effect for the album. Nice. And let's not forget, this is also by B-Knox, and the thing is Triarch, like they always do. Now, what the heck is this? Progress. Nature to man. Ah, uh, screw this. Man to machine. It's the Sony logo. Now, on to the game. New game. There's three different difficulties. Should I go human, hero, or superhero? Actually, I'm going to go with...
human because this is just my first time playing this one. Peter, what are you doing here? I'm here to get you out of this asylum. But you put me here. And there's good reason. I can't... I know, it's crazy. But time's running out, Connors. Something bad has happened. Something really bad. Chapter 1. Oscorp's... Oscorp's your friend. It's been months since rogue scientist Dr. Kirk Connors unleashed a lizard upon the upstanding citizens of New York. Completely ups absolved by any wrongdoing in the eyes of the, to the public. Oscorp has moved to the pr promoting to promoting the acts of its newest brilliant mind, Allstate Smythe. And the objective is search for audio files for Oscorp. Okay, let me just get on with this. Five minutes before the incident. Progress. Hey there. Major demand. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for being with me, Pete. You're brave. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'm not supposed to be here. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking. We're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours. Stuff that Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn this company around. Sure, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oxford? I think they're continuing Dr. Connor's work. Cross-species experiments. Come on. Whoa, whoa, no. Like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out tonight. Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. Why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. I uh, know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all humanity. Huh. Okay, just wait a second. Progress. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Well, definitely safe out here. We'll never get in. We're in. Today is evolving. Keep your head down. Of technology needs a guiding hand. Under the direction of Dr. Wow. Look at all this. I knew Dr. Smythe was the nanobot guy, but I had no idea yet. Big bots, too. I can't believe you get to play with this stuff every day. <laughs> it never gets old. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. This could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. It's okay, it's okay. Come with me. What are you doing here, Gwen? You know you're not supposed to be here after hours. Especially with a guest. Uh, Dr. Smythe, I am so, so sorry. Uh, this is my friend, Peter Parker. Peter Parker? I've heard about you. I'm hearing a lot about you tonight. So, why are you oh, here? I'm totally to blame, Doc. I, uh, I'm amazed at what you've done with Oscorp. I, when I heard about the changes you were making, you know, uh, nanobots, I wanted to see them for myself. You worked with Connors, right? Funny finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross-species. So this is a cross-species? You promised me that all of Connors' work was over. But how many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connors did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. I trust you'll keep everything you see in the strictest confidence. Is this a game of Killzone or a game of Spider-Man? Just huh. seeing that. Another one of these cross species? Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? 
Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefit, but they lost that argument. As of tonight, these cross species disappear. We're shipping them to our bio lab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always looks like that. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous and highly contagious. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Yeah. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. They were never human to begin with. They were born in a petri dish. Full of poor humans and infects. At least we don't want to look forward to seeing Peter Parker mutate into a man spider like what happened in the Fox Kids produced Spider-Man cartoon. Seem cruel, but you have to understand Boy, that that's that is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees with the plague. Wolf Strange. lizard? It only reacts like that when it's around other... I mean... Uh, other handsome guys like me? I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are unpredictable. Much more than things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I have ever been on. How long is this open for log? I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B sector. No, I don't have time for this. Well, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get eaten. <laughs> I understand. My beauty is madness. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wonder. It's an order, Miss Stacy. Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. I've been great meeting you, Doctor. <sighs> oh, that's just the scorpion. It, is that? You gotta be kidding me. That's it's Matt Gargan. Bar, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. And he's woken up. What the what? What did you do? I I didn't do anything. You're gonna be funny if you said it again. It's your blood. It matters. Oh crap! Now this don't look good. Now it's the time for action. So something weird happens. He's about to get out. Would this be a great time for Peter to suit up in his Spider-Man suit to see what's going on? What do we do? Oh crap, Scorpion has been unleashed. What? This can't be happening. No, Gwen, look at me. Gwen! Looks like a job for Sp the Amazing Spider-Man. And during my playthrough for the first time playing this installment of the Spider-Man franchise, I'm going to see how to take a look at this game. Okay. The character bio for Gwen Stacy is going to you okay? Uh, That's good. Thanks. Get me to the quarantine area. Head start. I can help you save the other scientists from there. These robots look like they want to eat me for lunch. They've been programmed to defend us against cross species, which I guess you technically are. So, yeah, watch out, Pete. Oh my God, did you see that? Don't worry, Gwen. Get you better. Where do I go now? Here? Maybe you can web 
curve swing across. Oh, the R2 button, of course. Like every other Spider-Man game I played where I have the left swing with this button. On this kind of PlayStation format. This looks like a job for Spider-Man. Does every robot have like to always. Me? Okay, now. another way. Right. Of course. This room right here. Right. Oscorp security system. I went through this with the, with the, the, with the first Spider-Man movie here, game. Boy. I gotta go through this? Back to get you. Again? For the first time in ten some years since I played a Spider-Man movie game that was like ten years after the first movie game? Where you ha I have to go through something at Oscorp? That's more treacherous and dangerous for the web slinger to go through? Damn. I really hate being in Oscorp because there's always some shit going on. Door is open. Oh, 
security systems are running down. Okay. Outward. Snake style, going through vents. Oh, great, more Oscorp robots. What else is new? I need to get the others before this really gets out of hand. Pete, I think we both know that this is already out of hand. Dr. Smythe will have some answers. Find him. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask, what's going to happen to you? I don't know, but it's not going to be good. I'm infected, Pete. We all are. You remember what happened to Connors. This only leads to one thing. But, but what about the antidote? If it worked before, then... Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved, mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped. But even if they are, there's, there's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not going to let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Oz phone on the table. The what? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. <laughs> someone who can help. Be careful, Pete. Dr. Slight is programming his robots to capture all Free room experience as well. But first, 
this. As you can see, the creature has stopped its rampage in the center of the park. Now that we can have a good look, we can confirm this is not the same reptilian creature that recently terrorized Manhattan. Strangely, it's... Motherfucker. Nice! My first trophy for a Spider-Man game. Awesome. <laughs>